Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this problem, I'll be going over question 98 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So in this question, we're given that y is equal to x1, x2, and x3 multiplied together. So y can either, and we know that x can only be 0 or 1, or there is no probability that it could be anything else but 0 and 1. So there's actually like two, essentially two um, cases that it could happen. Case 1, where x, y, x2, and x3 are all equal to 0, right? I mean, all equal to 1. Because then the y value here is going to be 1. And this happens with the probability. If, y, if x1 is equal to 2 thirds, and x2 is equal to 2 thirds, and x3 is also equal to 2 thirds, that probability that y is going to be equal to 1 is going to be equal to 8 over 27. I hope that makes sense because if any of these, if x, if any of these, like x1, x2, or x3 is equal to 0, because it can only take 1 or 0, then this y value is going to be 0, right? But then y value can't be 1, it can't be 2 or 3 or 4 or anything like that because we're multiplying it and the max number is 1. So this is actually the probability of y is going to be equal to two, 0, which is case 2. It's just 1 minus 8 over 27, which is equal to 19 over 27. If you didn't think of it like this, you can also think of it like what if x1 um, and x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0. Then that will also give you y equal to 0 because anything times 0 is 0. But then this probability is going to give you if x1 and x2 is equal to 1. You know that's going to be equal to 2 thirds and 2 thirds. And the last one is going to be 1 third. So this probability is going to be equal to 4 over 27. But we know that this could happen for three other cases, right? It could happen when x1 and x3 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 0 or x1 is equal to 0 and x2 and x3 is equal to 1. So this could happen three different times. So you actually have 12 over 27. You could also have just one value being equal to 1 and x2 and x3 being equal to 0. So if that happens, the probability that you're going to get 1 is 2 thirds. The probability that you're going to get 0 is 1 third and 1 third. So this is equal to 2 over 27. And likewise, as with the other problem, it could be different. It, there's three different chances that this could happen, right? As in, like, x2 could have 1, x1 and x3 could be 0, or x3 could have 1 and x1, x3 have 0. So you can have this three different times. So that's going to be equal to 6 over 27. You can also get all zeros if x1, x2, and x3 are all equal to 0. So that one happens when it's 1 third times 1 third times 1 third, which is equal to 1 over 27. When you add all of these together, 12 over 27 plus 6 over 27 plus 1 over 27, you're actually going to get 19 over 27, which is exactly the same thing as this thing that we got over here. Okay, but so honestly, if you wanted to save time, just understand that there's only two scenarios and it's if this is 8 over 27 for y equals 1, then the other one must be the complement. But anyways, moment generator function by the definition is equal to the ex expected value of e to the t, x, right? So if x, oh, and then actually this is supposed to be y, expected value of e to the t, y. Expected value by definition is just that value times the probability of that value, right? So then if um, y is equal to 0, let's say, then this is e to the 0 power times the probability that y is equal to Zero, so that's going to be equal to 1927, 19 over 27. And we also know that it could also be 1, right? So that's going to be e to the, if I plug in 1, you're still left with t. And the probability that y is equal to 1, so that's going to be equal to 8 over 27. So simplifying this, you get 19 over 27 plus 8 over 27 e to the t, which is our answer a. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!